This is KTVU Mornings on 2. Time is 7.43 and your health check. 50% of heart attack patients have normal cholesterol levels. How to improve that statistic? Maybe a simple blood test. You see, that's the message from our guest in the studio right now. She's here with Pam Cook. Yeah, incredible. How can you have normal cholesterol levels, be in great physical shape, never have smoked, and regular checkups with your doctor, and nearly die of a heart attack at the age of 39? You know the answer. This is Sandra Tremulous. And you're here with us to talk about this was personally shocking for me because I feel like I can relate to you. I have cardiovascular um, family history, but I, I watch what I eat and exercise and healthy. But this came down to this lipoprotein, little a, you call it. I've never even heard of it, this. Yeah, a lot of us have heard about cholesterol. Lipoprotein, little a, is the vehicle that carries the cholesterol throughout your body. And when it's abnormal it accelerates the process of plaque being laid down in your arteries and when those arteries narrow then you're at higher risk for a blood clot a heart attack or a stroke and this was all new to me it's a simple blood test but they didn't do this blood test until after i almost died of a heart attack right so at the age of 39 you almost died and you were running, you were exercising, you were not overweight, you were watching your cholesterol because your father had died of a heart attack, so you were extra vigilant, but this is not a blood test. If you go to get your cholesterol taken, this is not part of the regular blood test, then, right, to test for this? No, it's not part of the standard cholesterol test that you get given, but if you have a strong family history of heart attack or stroke or aortic stenosis in your family, you need to get checked for this particular blood test because you get a more accurate prediction of your risk for these different uh, heart attack, stroke, peripheral vascular disease. So what can you do if you're already eating healthy and you're exercising and then all of a sudden you have this lipoprotein little a, what, I mean, what can you do? Well, there are some promising therapies on the horizon, but it's vigilance. It's like being a redheaded child and knowing from very young that you're at risk for skin cancer. If you know that you have this, then you're vigilant. You know what the symptoms are. You can lower all your other risk factors as much as possible to lower your overall risk for cardiovascular disease. But you need to be under the care of the correct doctors and you need to get regular checkups and you need to keep on top of all those other risk factors to reduce your overall risk. And then one of the simplest things is we have a propensity to throw blood clots. If it's appropriate for you, ask your doctor about whether you should be on aspirin or not. Oh, it's an, um, interesting. So if you have this lipoprotein A, that's something that's common to strokes as well, more likely to produce a blood clot. And then, so this is the point of your foundation is to get everybody screened and tested and then what can you do? I guess be more vigilant is what it sounds like. Yes, you can go to our website and we have a family history sheet on there that you can download and you can fill that out and you can identify all of the cardiovascular disease, heart attack, stroke, peripheral vascular disease, aortic disease in your family. Take that family tree sheet to your physician and sit down, ask to have the lipoprotein delay blood test, get an accurate prediction of your risk, and then you want to talk about an aggressive primary prevention plan, which is before you have an event, right. or if you had an event and you find out you have high LP delay, you need to be on an even more aggressive plan to reduce your overall risk. All right, Sandra, thank you so much for coming in and talking about this. We do have a link to your foundation and website on our website. Very important information that you're sharing with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's go back over to Gossie and Dave. All right, Pam and Sandra, thank you.